Right. When you were faced with an enlargement question, the most important thing to get your head around, first of all, is uh, what sort of enlargement question it is. Now, this first type that we're looking at here is just a straightforward, you need to take that shape and redraw it on the grid any way you like, but three times bigger because the scale factor is three. Um, if we move quickly through some of the questions that we've got in this section, you'll see that with some of them, you are given a center of enlargement, all right, which is different. It means that uh, you have to draw that shape in a specific place with a scale factor of four. And then the very last type um, would be where you have a center of enlargement, but it's not on a grid, which is a little bit trickier again. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're aware what you are faced with when answering these. Well, we'll start off with the most straightforward type, which is just, as, just enlarge it. Doesn't matter where, just make sure it fits on the grid. Um, so each side of this shape has to be three times bigger than it is on the original. So if I start um, in this corner here, and I'll copy that down to there, then in the original, from there vertically upwards, I'm going three squares. With a scale factor of three, in the enlargement, it's going to be three times that size, which is going to be nine squares. So I need to travel upwards a total distance of nine squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That isn't very clear. Have I got a thicker pen? Have I got a thicker pen? What if I do this? So that's that side. That distance is one, so it's going to be three on my enlargement. That's going to be three at the top. Now this one is one diagonal, so if we count in diagonals, then this is going to be one, two, three diagonals to there. Or you can go across one and down one, meaning you need to go across three and down three on the enlargement. And then we've just got this final line to draw in. which takes us to there. So that's the enlarged shape. Uh, no center of enlargement, any way you like, make sure it fits. Again, as I said to you, with any drawing or graph question, make sure you use a pencil on your real exam paper. You've only got one chance to get it right. Okay, this time it's a scale factor of four, but again, any way you like. So I'm going to start it uh, there, and that will be what I've got there. So in order to go from this point to this point, on the original, I've got to go across one and up two. So the scale factor of four, across one will mean across four, and up two will mean up eight. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, across and one two three four five six seven eight up i'm going to join those up and luckily it fits okay then that's going down two which will take me back to going down eight where I originally started and then to get from there to there I'm going to go across one down one which scale factor of four is across four one two three four and down four one two three four so 
so there's that enlargement I was very lucky there that I chose the starting point there if I'd have moved it down any further it wouldn't have fitted on and without a pen I'd have made a mess of that same here uh, on the grid below an enlargement of the given shape using a scale factor of 4 I'm going to start it down here there across 1 will be across 4 up 2 will be up 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 which will take me just onto the original and then to find that final point there across 1, up 1 will become across 4 1, 2, 3, 4 up four. One, two, three, four. And that will give us that one. So one of the problems that um, you've got with an enlargement where it's not giving you a center of enlargement is that if you're not careful where you choose to start you may end up running out of grid that problem is overcome when they give you a center of enlargement because that will tell you where to start your copy so with this one draw on the grid below an enlargement of the given shape using a scale factor of four and center o right what you do is you want to work out how far you travel to get from the center of enlargement O to start your shape. So I'm going to start my enlargement from that top corner of the shape. To get from the center to the top corner I've got to go across one and down one. So the starting point on my enlargement is going to be four times that. So instead of across one down one I have to go across four one, two, three, four, and down four. One, two, three, four. So that's telling me where to start my enlargement. Now it's exactly the same as the other ones. This side is two, that means it's going to be eight on the enlargement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll take me to there. Then I'm going to go down one. I'm going to go down four. One, two, three, four, to there. Across one is going to be across four. One, two, three, four, to there. Uh, from here, I'm going to go down two, which means I'm going to go down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and then join up like that. So the key difference as far as an examiner is concerned is with these previous ones you could have 400 different students all starting in different places. Now every single answer is going to look identical to that. It's all going to start there presuming you've done it correctly. Question 5. Starting point again. This time it's a scale factor of 3 and center A. So in order to go, if I'm going to decide to start my copy from there, to go from the center to there is 1 square. So in the enlargement it's going to be 3 squares. 1, 2, 3. So my enlargement is going to begin there. It's going to go across 3, so in my enlargement it's going to go across 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It takes me to there. Up 1 will be up 3, to there. Then for this one I've got to go across 1, up 1, across 3, up 3. and then back to the start
like that. So this time my enlargement cuts through my original shape. That doesn't mean you've gone wrong, don't panic. Last one of this style then, same again. Here's my center. I want to start my enlargement on that point on my original shape, which is two squares from the center. The scale factor here is a scale factor of three. So two squares becomes six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my starting point. From there to go there, it's a cross one, up one, which on my enlargement will become a cross three, up three. Up two, become up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To there. And then across two, down one, will become across six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And down three. One, two, three. and back to the start. Okay, so be aware if you've got a center of enlargement it's important that the starting point is part of the scale factor. Now if you aren't given a grid to work with you have to draw in some lines of your own. Starting from the center of enlargement and through each corner of your shape. So let's draw those in. I only managed to find one question like this, so this one does this type doesn't come up anywhere near as frequently as ones with grids. Okay, so I've got lines as if you were firing a torch from the center of enlargement, cutting each corner. There's one, two, three, four corners of my shape. Now, what you need to do is measure the distance from A to each of the corners, and then using the scale factor, double, because you've got a scale factor of two, double that distance. So the first distance here from A to that first corner is 3 centimetres. So on the enlargement, it's going to be 6 centimetres. So I've measured 6 centimetres, put a dot. Same now for the next one. From A to that corner is 5 centimetres. So on the enlargement, it's going to be 10 centimetres. So 0 to 10, put a dot. Moving down, this one is 5 on the original, so it's going to be 10 on the enlargement. And this one is 2 on the original, so it will become 4 on the enlargement. And then you join your dots. So there you go, that's your enlargement. So if there's no grid, you draw your lines going through each corner of your shape from the center, measure the distance from the center to each corner, and then whatever the scale factor is, you're multiplying by that distance. So if that was a scale factor of three, it would be three times that distance. If it was a scale factor of 10, it would be 10 and so on. Put dots on your lines and join the dots. So that's the three different types of enlargement question that you may come up against on a rolling pen.